Guys, welcome to the Wednesday Cardone University, Cardone On Demand Mastermind. My name is Steve Spray, and I come to you live every single Wednesday, live from the 305. So that way we can talk about sales, business, getting your money right. It's the start of 2017, and if you're on Cardone University or Cardone On Demand, we're going to show you in this show every Wednesday how to be successful. So as a professional salesperson, somebody who's working to get better every single day, they're using tools like Cardone University to help them find success. They're using tools like the 10X seminar package right here. It's the deal of the day, okay? Right, you guys see this big thick book right here? 30 plus hours of Grant Cardone seminar collection. Okay, I'm talking everything from sales, closing, negotiating, motivation. It's all in here. Go to grantcardone.com. That's the deal of the day, the Grant Cardone seminar collection. So check it out. So man, 2017, everybody has their attention on goals right now. On goals, that's what they're thinking about. Everybody's thinking about, man, what? How am I really going to tear it up this year? How am I going to do, uh, you know, big things? You know, everybody's looking at what they did last year. Look, I'm going to tell you right now. One of the things that we always do here, we're looking at, hey, what we miss and how can we get better. And for you as a salesperson or a business person or anybody who's in a, a position to sell a product or a service. What we do at Cardone University is how you get better every single day. So that way you can really confront those problems or those challenges that you have in your business or in your sales. And you can use Cardone University to really perfect what you're doing as you're going through the certification, which is your ongoing sales development. So uh, today what we're going to talk about, I mean, I, every, every week I get a lot of contacts. I get people reaching out saying, hey, man, love the show, love what you're doing. Um, but can you help me out here? And so we also give you guys the opportunity to call in. And when you do call in, we'll handle any problems or challenges that you have. And that number is 305-865-8668. You can call in. I'm going to answer anything you have. So, But last week I had a, had guys been on our program for three years reach out and say, hey, you know what? Man, I really just wanted to get some information on how to be successful with voicemails and emails. Because these two things, they're, they're definitely lines of communication for you as a salesperson to be able to stay in front of a customer. But how do you do it? Right? The question is, look, how do you use voicemail or email to be successful? And so a lot of people get confused about what they should and should not be doing. And so today, what we're going to talk about, that's going to be today's main focus. And so I'm going to handle where to find everything you need to know about being successful with these mechanisms and what they're used for inside Cardone University. So if you guys want to call in, the number 305-865-8668. I already got a couple of people giving a call in. So uh, guys, what you're going to find inside the program, and, and I'm going to have Rob pull this up. Look, the first thing that you want to look at when you go in here, you know, this is going to take you right inside Cardone University, right inside Cardone On Demand. I want you to look up here at the top. And so one of the, the best features that I always find, I, I wake up in the morning, I'm looking at my six segments, I'm doing my on, ongoing sales training, but what I'm really doing also is I'm focusing on, hey, where can I get better? You know, I just came out of 2016, I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, what can I perfect that way I can do better this year? And so I'm gonna use this toolbar right here to start looking up things that's gonna be able to help me out. So uh, just for instance, what we're talking about today, we're talking about uh, voice messages, text messages, emails, right? So I'm just gonna use a very simple strategy of just, I'm just gonna type in the word message. And let's go ahead and click search. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what this is gonna do for you. And so this starts to pull up. Now, today I'm using the keyword message because that's what we're talking about. It could be closing could be a specific objection. It could be something, but you know, with 1400 sales training courses inside the program, you want to be able to find all of them that match exactly what you're looking for. Now, as I'm scrolling through here, guys, you, you see how it's highlighted. You see, well, man, here's the categories. I've got advanced cold call tips. There's a segment in there on tips of leaving messages. So as I scroll down too, you're going to see, Hey, how to use follow-up tools. There's something about follow-up. So selfie video messages. So as you go through here, you're going to see there's different categories that have different keywords of just that word message. Could be anything. Could be, uh, you know, could be something about motivation. It could be excitement. It could be goals. Maybe I type in goals, right? 2017 right now. I'm going to use this search bar to type in the word goals. And then what pops up? Oh, wow. A ton of stuff pops up. 
all these different segments that only focus on goals. There's a whole category in here that focus on that. So if you're trying to figure out right now, this second, hey, dude, hey, how do I line up 2017 goals? That way I'm kicking it this year. I'm doing really well. I want you guys to utilize the search bar to be able to help you out. So, so this is what we're going to talk about. If you guys have questions, call in 305-865-8668. So we're going to be talking about you know, how to be successful on voicemails and text message. And so the way that you want to do that is you just you really want to understand what they are. So as you go inside follow up, as you go inside cold calls, as you go inside prospecting and you're learning the theory and the understanding behind these strategies, what you're going to find out is that, you know, look, with with these types of communication lines, voice messages, text messages, emails, you're not going to sell anybody over the message, right? You're never going to be able to sell over a voicemail. I've never sold it. I've never got a deal where like the voicemail was so good, dude, the guy called back and said, I can't believe that voicemail and I wanna buy. Or I never sent out a text message that said, somebody sent back and they were like, I cannot believe what you put in that text message, I'm done, I'm sold. Okay, so I need to understand what these are. They're lines of communication, they're way to stay in front of people. So when you see Grant talking inside follow up about how to octopus people, how to really cover them up, that way I can stay in front of the customer, you're gonna find out that, man, the voicemail is an awesome way to direct somebody to go to an email. Hey, John, this is Steve over here at Grant Cardone's office. I just dropped a message inside your inbox that's gonna show you guys how to pick up another 10 deals today. Okay, take a look at that. When you get it, give me a call back. Okay, voicemails should be tight, they should be fast, and there should be a purpose. Okay, the number one rule of voicemails, the number one rule is if you guys are taking notes at home, the number one rule of voicemail is that you always leave a voicemail. How am I gonna make a phone call and I'm not gonna let the person know that I was the one who called, okay? How am I gonna do that? That's the number one mistake. So these are some of the things you're gonna learn. Grant is gonna talk to you about inside the program. I wanna touch on it today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some callers and then we're gonna come back and start hitting on strategies uh, with these type of things. I'm gonna give you guys some, some little inside tips that, that we use here to, uh, to be able to help you be successful. So uh, I got a couple callers in. I got Victor, he's calling in from New Jersey. Victor, how you doing today? Victor. Yes, hi. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? How you doing today? I'm all right. How you doing? Dude, I'm doing unbelievable, man. I'm doing unbelievable. I appreciate you calling in. What uh, What can I help you out with today? I need to know, like, how do I get to the next level in sales? Like, specifically about cars. I work for a Ford dealership. Oh, good. In New Jersey. Yep. Yeah. How long have you been in the business? I've been in the business for two years now. Got it. What's the hardest part about your job? About selling, man. About selling? What? How much investment have you done in yourself? Just uh, you know, with like books or like audios. Like, what's that look like for you so far? Well, I just got into the Cardone University just now in December. And, okay. you know, I'm overwhelming with everything that's there. Like, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's a lot of stuff, man. It's a, li it's a lifetime gig, you know. So there's a lot of material that you're going to learn because inside in sales, and you've been doing it for two years, so you know that, you know, there's a lot to learn about it, right? There's a lot to learn about the sales process. There's a lot to learn about, you know, how to get into communication with somebody who walks on to your lot and who's trying to jam you on price or drop a, uh, a true car paper in front of you and say, hey, man, dude, I, I got the invoice in front of you right here. You know, how do you handle that type of communication with the customer? How do you close the guy down who's giving you objections, right? And so you're right, man. There's a lot to learn. So I'm going to tell you right now exactly how to be successful in using Cardone University. And, and Victor, I really appreciate you calling up to ask this question because every week we got new people dropping on the show just to find out, hey, what, where do I get started? What do I do? And so even no matter where... Yeah, I appreciate where, you taking the call, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And so no matter where you guys are at in sales, Rob, if you want to go ahead and show my screen, I'll, I'll just show you. For me, I, I do an ongoing strategy. I'm gonna go okay. le left to right, top to bottom inside here. And so I don't know if you're looking at it right now, but I'm, I'm showing my screen where it shows. I'm looking at it on my phone, dude, and I'm like. Okay. Okay, good, man. That's, I'm that, following that, exactly what you're telling me to do. I'm following a video on YouTube, and I'm following on my phone. You're the man. You're the man, dude. I appreciate you following along. So what, what you wanna do is you wanna do this, left to right, top to bottom. And so, you really want to start to learn these things here. Like when I was new to sales, 
there was a lot of things like I did. Obviously, I wanted to close a deal. I needed to close yeah. a deal. So I wanted to get in and get the strategy. Right. But look, there's a lot of things that I need to study. So when you look at like the top people, you look at the people who are successful, they're they're not just hearing like what to say. They're not just going up to their manager and saying, hey, what's the answer when somebody gives me this objection? Dude, they're doing some in-depth study. So uh, for instance, if I learn everything there is about the selling basics, which is me as an individual, as a salesperson, how to be successful from my side as me, and then I start learning about the second piece right here, the buyer, the customer. And so that way I can take full responsibility for the entire sales cycle. And I'm gonna start closing okay. more deals, right? And so you wanna learn these two things up front, okay? Learn selling basics. And that's why you just wanna go all the way down, left to right, top to bottom, just like you're reading a book. Okay, okay. now here, here's the kicker. What, uh, what, what football team you, you like up there in New Jersey? The Bro, Giants? I'm, I live in New Jersey, but I'm a Miami fan. Oh, dude, my man. Nobody believes that. My, my nobody man. Even, like, I, I appreciate that. that. Hey, so, I, hey, so. I, I'm speaking to my cousin and stuff. They're like, listen, how can you be living here? And oh, yeah, I love that. Like, love, yeah, no, I love that, dude. So, so it doesn't matter who it is. What I'm saying is that, look, when the quarterback throws an interception, what's he doing, man? He's on the sidelines. He's looking at, hey, where did that play break down? Because I don't want that to yeah. ever happen again, right? And so what happens yep. is that for you, as you're going through this program and you're going through your sales cycle and you get done with a customer and you identify, hey, where did that deal break down? Where did I miss the opportunity? It could be anywhere. It could be on the cold call. It could be in the fact finding. It could be in the demo. It could be anywhere inside the program. That's where you want to go back and handle that problem. And, and let me explain to you why, Victor. If I ask you if you're thinking about a fire extinguisher right now, you're probably gonna tell me uh -huh. no. Are you thinking about one right now? You thinking about a fire extinguisher right now? Nah. Okay, but if one of those cars in your lot right now was on fire, what would you be thinking about? I was thinking about that information, that's all. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe he didn't understand the question. <laughs> what what no, I'm saying I'm is that look, man, when something's okay, on when, when something's right, on fire. You one more time? Yeah, no problem, no problem, man. I, what I'm suggesting is that look, you're not really looking to solve a problem until you have attention on it. When my kitchen okay. busts out in flames, dude, I'm not looking for a way to handle it. Like, I'm never thinking about that until it happens. But that's the moment. Uh, that's the time to come back to Cardone University to be able to handle any type of problem or, like, any type of challenge that you're having. So, dude, when I'm in a deal and I get shut down on it and I got to, you know, I'm walking back from the deal and I'm like, dang, dude, what could I have done to freaking make that deal better? That's the opportunity. Let me give you an example. So I'm going to go inside closing strat. What was the last objection you got? Uh, I, I have some problems last week with like cold calls and like the dude, like he wanted the car and then he started giving the excuse that his wife didn't want it anymore. Okay, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside closing strategies right here and I'm going to go to the stall. I'm going to go all the way down to stall closes right here. This is where I'm going to be able to handle that. So immediately when I get that objection, guys, I want to go into stall closes. There's five different ways right here. Just, I'm sorry, four different ways to handle just the spouse stall. So what you want to do is you want to click in, and I'm a favorite these because I'm like, hey, man, I, I get these. I get them all the time. I need to handle these. So I want you guys to really think about getting in the realm of watching these like 40, 50, 60 times. Like how many times do you need to really train something to, to get it, to understand it? So, Victor, hey, thanks a lot for calling in, man. And, uh, you know, let, let us know how things are going. Start the program, six segments every single day. And that's what you want to do, man. You want to continue to go through the program. I appreciate it, man. All right, Thank all right, you. All right, thanks a lot, man. I got Michael. He's calling in from Atlanta. Michael, yeah, how you doing today? Man. man, I'm doing freaking amazing, Steve. How you doing? Dude, I'm doing really good. I, I appreciate you calling in. What, uh, what, what problems can we help you out with today? Man, okay, so I've been selling for a while, and I've noticed this, that I have a lot of interest in my product, but I don't know what part of the sales process to start whenever people come to me with their interest. So okay, I, great question. Or, yeah, from where? Great question. So in most cases, you know, what, what type of product do you sell? I sell video media promotional. Video media? So like, uh, yeah. Okay, so like good. Promotions, commercials, and video. So this is a great topic, right? Great question. So what Michael's saying is, you know, look, I, I got people who call up and, or I'm talking to them and they're already down the line in the buying process. You know, in most cases, most customers and, and clients that you talk to, Dude, they're, they're, they're 40, 50, 60, 
seventy percent of the way through the buying process, right? So, yeah. Uh, let's take an automobile today, for example. Okay. Okay. The average consumer in the marketplace, and everybody drives a vehicle. The average consumer studies for eleven hours online before they make a purchase, before they even contact the dealer. Mm. Okay. So what you want to think about is like, how far along is that customer in the process? Where do I need to start with them? You know, how much studying have they done? So this is a great, great thing you're going to learn. So I'm going to go inside sales process right now. And I'm going to click inside sales process. And as you go through this, these are the types of things that you're going to identify coming from fact finding. This is where you're going to figure out how to present them the product. So Michael's calling up and he's saying, I need to know how to present them the product. And sometimes I don't even know where they're at inside the buying process. So inside fact finding right here, and this is one of my, I mean, this is one of my favorite pieces of the program. Cause if you can get this part, right, if you can get the fact finding, right, it just sets everything up, you know? So if I can, I know if I can do everything right inside fact, finding. that's why you see all these hearts in here. Uh, Cause I've seen, these, I've seen these segments so many times. Cause I'm always going back through. I'm like, Hey, how, how can I get even better at that? Because I want to know where they're at. And so what happens is that, you know, look like where are these leads coming from? Are, are you cold calling them or are they coming through? Are they calling you on your website? Sometimes cold calling, but uh, most times they just find me somehow. Okay, good. And so have they already done business in the video media space? Um, most of them, no, this is a lot of their, uh, first time. Okay. So where do you think they're at? Where, where, where have, have some of them been or like differed inside the, the process for you? Well, that's, that's what I don't know. I, I don't know like where to start. Like, are, are they just ready to buy? Should I, should I close them there or try, or should I try to build value or, you know, give them a, a proposal or what? Okay. So whenever you ask, so whenever you talk to them or, Give me, let's give me one example of the, per, the one that you're thinking about right now. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, so, um, was that a cold call or did they call you? They, they actually approached me about it. Okay, good. So if they approached you about it, they must have known that you do this, correct? Of course, yeah. Okay, good. So they've already done some sort of homework. I'm going to ask them those types of questions. Hey, mm -hmm. happy to help you out, man. My name is Michael. Dude, this is, I'm, I'm actually the pro in this space, okay? I, I help yeah. a lot of clients do very well in this space. So... What type of research have you done on this before? Happy to get you all the information. Let me ask you, what do you know about what I do right now? How did you oh, find good. my name? Who told you about me? Hey, great. Let, hey, thank you so much for even thinking of you. What, uh, of, of even thinking of me. Who, who told you about me? I'm, I'm digging yeah. deeper, so I'm trying to figure out like what this guy knows because now all of a sudden he's going to dig in. Well, you know what? I started looking. I found online. Then I found out we had a mutual friend on Facebook and blah, 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 or LinkedIn. And then so I got connected and I figured I'd just reach out and give you a call. Yeah. Okay. So that guy's probably a little bit further away through the buying process, right? He's probably been thinking about it. Yeah. He's probably been looking online. Most times whenever I present them the prices, um, they're, they're ready to go. They're pumped up, but by the end they, uh, back out there because there is something that you're missing inside the sales process. There's something that you don't know. And so what's yeah. probably happening in that situation is they're calling up and they're telling you, Hey, Michael, dude, I want to get some video media. And they've already done some research on this topic. And so, like, if you don't do the proper fact finding, then you don't know what they think about your product. So I asked this question, question last week on the show. I said, I asked somebody, I said, hey, what do you think? When I say the words video media to somebody, what are the different things that you think they could think? Oh, man, they could think of YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Yeah, okay. YouTube, commercials, what else? Um, computer stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, good. Yeah, that and that's the answer. You're not sure, right? So what yeah. el what else about video media? You know, when I think of video media, oh, man, okay. I think about okay, uh, social media. You know, I think about, mm. you know, I think about. Uh, dude, I don't even have a website. Why would I need video <laughs> media? Yeah. You know what? You know what else I think about? Oh, I think about the last time I did video media. Dude, the la I, I hate the last time. I'll never do that again. Yeah. Right. So if you don't oh, ask, if you don't ask yeah. these questions, you don't know what they're thinking, right? And so that's why the fact finding is so important. So are you on Cardone University? I'm not, man. Dude, you know what you need to get is the 10x seminar package right here. Okay, it's, I'm showing it right now. There's mm -hmm. 30 plus hours of Grant seminars. Dude, he goes over this in in, in multiple segments from that. There's probably at least three hours just on this one topic. On fact finding. Just on fact finding. 
just okay. on making sure because he talks about fact finding in all these different areas, right? He's talking about it inside the sales process. He's talking about it in the uh, in the, the follow up. How do I use it there? How do I use it on the cold call? You know, the fact finding on the cold call is what gets the appointment because then you know yeah. where to set the hook. You yeah. know, so it's important for you to really like dig in and understand these things, man. So, hey, really appreciate you calling in. Loved breaking that down with you. So uh, you. go go to grantcardone.com. This is our deal of the day. It's the Grant Cardone okay. seminar collection. There's 30 hours, over 30 hours. OK, you're going to get this big book. Man, this thing's freaking awesome. OK, it, it, it's all the ebooks. And so you're going to get the ebooks. You're, you're going to get the content. And so what happens is that, look, you're going to be able to get the material inside the program. That way you know what to do on the call. That way you understand what to do. Okay. So, hey, man, make your, uh, make your year huge 10X. And <laughs> this is how you're going to do it, brother. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, man. So guys, you know, getting back to, you know, what we were talking about with, you know, uh, using emails, using text messages. So this content's all sitting inside the program. It's just, where are you using it at? Am I using it to maybe text out and reach somebody on, on a cold call? That could be where a text, because that text is a little bit different than the text on the follow-up. And that text is different on the customer that I already have, and they've been my client for six months, and I'm just trying to get a good referral out of them because it's the beginning of the year and I'm trying to freaking fill my pipeline up big time. Okay. Cause I'm going huge in, in, in 2017. Right. So this is where you want to know, like, where am I at in the process? That's why Cardone university is so important for you. So guys, if you want to call in, like explain to me what challenges you're having. I just walked a couple people through different problems that they had, uh, objection, handling scripts, anything that you need right now, I'm happy to help you out. It's three zero five eight, six, five, eight, six, six, eight. So, you know, some of the things to think about, I, I talked about it earlier. Number one, always leave a voice message. Okay, always have a reason. And so what you're going to find is that we've got a program that's called the follow-up tool. And as you go inside follow-up, it, it has a different breakdown as well. And, and so, Rob, if you want to show this right here, you can either go inside the follow-up tool or you can go inside this part right here. It says contact follow-up for over 365 days. And this is where I want to cover somebody up. So I have one client and this is the game plan to follow them up. Almost nobody knows how to do this properly. Almost nobody knows how to do this properly. So I want you guys to, to pay attention to it. Like, what are these courses about? Are these just other ideas to follow up? Is this just a, another thing to do uh, in case giving them the call doesn't work? No, it's not. This is the exact step-by-step -step strategy of what Grant Cardone would do if he was actually covering somebody up. So if you don't know how to use this part of the program, it's not going to work for you as well. So you're going to find out that on the same day, I mean, 60 seconds after I talk to a customer, I just pitch my product. There's a special way that I need to follow up with them. On day one, there's a, there's a special way I need to follow up with them. Follow up is about staying in front of people and it is the greatest sales secret of all time. So Grant did five hours on that right inside the Grant Cardone seminar collection. So when you guys pick up this program today, the Grant Cardone seminar collection, it's got this big book. It's got 30 hours plus of content on every single topic from sales, outbound contacts, cold calls, follow up, closing. So I got John. He's calling in from Florida. John, how's everything going today? I'm very good, my friend. How are you? I'm doing really good, man. How, how can I help you out today? Man, I was called to say how awesome you guys are, how Cardone University has changed my work life and my personal life, and I'm just calling to say how powerful the whole program is. With, with that being said, my stats are up 1,000% in four years, and I just landed a $3.2 million real estate deal all from a selfie video. I kept on <laughs> pounding it, pounding it, pounding it, and pounding it. I got the deal. I was dealing with um, attorneys in New York, yeah. with attorneys in Miami. Uh huh. But on that um, on that selfie video, I sent them out for anniversaries, happy birthdays. Yep. I, I do. I send out twenty a day, probably. I love it. And I tell you, that selfie video has made me so much money. It's it's sick. It's sick, man. It's a, and it's a great tool. So, so what he's talking about, what John's talking about right here, I'll show you guys right inside the program. So when you go inside here, if you click inside follow up, this is what John did. He said, Hey man, I'm, I'm going to invest in my future. I'm going to get great at what I'm doing. I'm going to be the best in my marketplace. And there's a lot of people that I need to dominate in this space. And so what I, what I need is I need an arsenal of content. 
And so as you go inside the program, if you click inside how to use follow-up tools, this is uh, just the step one on selfie virtual videos, right? This is a three minute, 40 second course. How many, how many people have ever taken a course? I want you to, if you're sitting at home right now, you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching this online, I want you to ask yourself, how many courses have you taken on how to be successful with a virtual video for follow-up? Okay, most people have never had it because it doesn't exist except for inside cardonuniversity.com. So what John's saying is, hey, look, man, dude, there's no deal that's too big for me to be able to use a selfie virtual video. Now, this is another form. This is another form of follow-up. So John, what else has happened since you've been on the program? I mean, dude, you're up a thousand percent, which is unbelievable. Yeah, Congratulations years, yeah. on that, man. That's uh, that's really good. What, what else has happened for you since you've been on the program? Every aspect, every aspect. And on module number three, it's all about attitude. And I've taken that attitude. And you know what, dude, it sounds corny and it's a little bit too personal. But dude, I'm a better person. I'm a better father. I'm a better husband. I'm definitely a better salesman. But just with that 20 traits of a positive attitude, I've memorized them. I've watched it. I've watched it. I've watched it. I just started a real estate team. And I'm the oh, very dude. first thing we have to do in the morning is we have to watch three modules per morning. Yep. And just like you said, my brokerage, Keller Williams in Liquid Ranch, has asked me to teach a class, and I'm going to teach it about attitude. My very first question, how many people here read and train daily for sale? And I guarantee not a single person will raise their hand, but yet I'm watching six modules a day, yep. and they see what my life is becoming. And, I, and if I can do it, I promise you, Anybody can do it. If I had your wow. looks, my sales would be up 5,000%. Dude, and, and that's where they should be because what you want to do at Cardone University is is you want to continue to use it. And so, like, just off one thing, guys, this, John's saying, hey, look, man, dude, just off the attitude. And, and I'm on board with John with this deal because that was one thing that I needed. Dude, I just needed to come to the office every day with the freaking jacked up 10X attitude. And, and I need, I've never taken a course on how to have a great attitude. Right. And there's actually courses on how to do this. There's categories on, dude, how do you show up every single day, ready to grind, ready to hustle? Because, you know, you should, but but you're not. So, like, why is that? Is it your fault or is it that you just have never been taught how to do it? You've never had the right information to be able to do this. You guys read a bunch of garbage online uh, that that some guy, you know, had wrote. Dude, look, man, take the course from the, the guy himself. OK, Grant Cardone has created the Cardone University. That way you can fix all these little things. And so what he's saying is that, look, just the attitude thing got me to, to increase what I was doing. And then I started learning from the selfie virtual video. So John, man, dude, unbelievable testimony. I mean, I really appreciate you giving a call in. Wait, was there a, a, any problem or anything that we could help you out with or anything no, else that man, we could I'm do? Good. No, man, life is good. I'm dude. on the program. I'm drinking from the Kool-Aid. Hey, uh, I, I love it, man. with Grant in Clearwater a couple nights ago. Oh, nice. I ran into, uh, ran into Robert up there in Clearwater. So I'm, I'll send you a private message next time you're in Clearwater. I want to We'll hook you up. We'll do lunch or something. John, dude, you're the man, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you. I will. Uh, appreciate I appreciate. I appreciate you giving back. a call. In. All right, brother. Take care. Hey, yep. guys. I got. Uh, I got Omar. He's calling in from Colorado. Omar, how's it going? Good. How you doing, Steve? Dude, I'm doing really good, man. I appreciate you calling in. Hey, what type of business are you in in Colorado? Uh, I'm selling pillows and bedding with Pillows.com. Oh, dude, Omar, my man. I appreciate you calling in, brother. Hey, I appreciate you taking my call. Dude, hey, so what's happened for you this week? What can I help you out with on the show right now with, with what we're talking about and uh, helping you increase your sales and your business? Because I know you're on Cardone University. Yep, I, I am. Um, it's definitely been going good. One of the things I've been struggling with is I go to these trade shows and I'll, I'll meet people. They like the product um, and they, they ask me to send them samples out to take a look at and test out. And so I'll get back and ship them the samples, and then they kind of disappear on me. Um, you know, I'll, I'll spend time trying to chase them down and, and uh, follow up with them, and, and, and I can't get them. Yeah, I mean, dude, there's, only, uh, there's, there's only two reasons why they wouldn't want your pillows. Do you mind if I share those with you? No, please do. So there's only two reasons, guys, anybody wouldn't do anything. Either, number one, they're not the decision maker which is typically the answer, okay? Or two, okay. they don't think they're gonna use it, right? Or okay. they don't think it benefits it, that fits them, right? And so, which is great, because you need to figure out which one of those it is, that way you can figure out what are the next steps. And so we have these strategies inside Cardone University. So it could be different at any case. What Omar's saying is he's going to trade shows, he's talking to people, 
he sells pillows in bulk to hotels in companies who, you know, dude, they got to buy a lot of pillows, a lot of sheets, a lot of things that, that come along. That's part of their inventory. And so what, what he's saying is he's having a hard time getting them because he's getting, he's getting nice guide. And so for most salespeople, they get nice guide all the time. And that's the hardest objection. I want you to think about all the times you get nice guide and all the times that, you know, somebody's telling you, I love you. I love what you do. This is great. This is awesome. Yep. Send me something. Perfect. Thank yep. you. Okay. Now look, these are, there's ways to handle that. There's ways to figure out, you know, I mean, you could straight up ask the guy, Hey dude, you freaking nice guy to me right now. You, you nice. I mean, come on, dude. I, it sounds like you're nice guy to me right now. You know? So guys, there's, there's, there's ways to figure this out. So what I want you to look at this is covered inside master the cold call it's covered inside okay. the objections i'm, I'm going to go to it right now so as you okay. go inside here there's great word tracks there's great strategies because what you really want to do is you want to figure out okay great man well dude if you love them if if i did send them to you what would the next step be so i'm gonna go inside cold call objections okay you know and so what they're saying is number three right here send me some information okay you know, or or email me Right. So this is what happens. Like Grant's going to take you through there. Okay, good. So first rule of selling is that, oh, I think I clicked on the wrong. So the first rule of selling is that I'm always going to agree. Hey, done, man. Happy to do that. Hey, the first thing I'm going to do when I leave here is I'm actually going to put out an order. It's going to be a specialized order for you and your company. It's going to be coming out. Now, let me ask you this. Assuming that the pillows that I have or everything that I'm telling you they are, Okay, what would be the next steps? Okay, is there an executive staff that we would need to get in front of to show them the okay. pillow samples? Or how do you guys typically buy? Now, okay. this right here is also covered inside the cold call. Because at this point, man, it's kind of a cold call, right? Like the guy, like we're at, a, we're at a, an event, but the guy doesn't actually know who I am. So inside the cold call process, at this point, I'm really just trying to get an appointment. Okay. So there's a whole category in here. There's a whole segment. Number four right here, it says qualify and fact find. What's qualified? Dude, I need to figure out if this is the guy. Okay, because if that okay. if, if he's not the decision maker, how are you going to get that deal done? Yep. It's called a, okay. we call, well, around here, we call it a wish a deal. Okay, a, a guy comes up and, and he's telling me, hey, look, man, I think I'm going to get this deal done. I'm like, okay, good. Is, is, uh, is he the, the decision maker? He's like, no, I'm like, so you're telling me that you're, you're bringing me a wish a deal. Okay, you, you, you hope that the guy who can't sign a check is going to make this thing happen for you. And so, you know, if you have a hard time selling them, what do you think the guy on the inside of the company who doesn't sell pillows is going to be able to do for you? Okay, nothing. So it's important for you as a salesperson to spot that. Like, how do I work with this guy? How do I team up, man? I'm at the trade show. I'm with Omar. Dude, hey, Omar, look, man, dude, hey, assume, I know you're going to love these pillows. So assuming the second you lay your head down on them, you're like, dude, this is right for my clientele. What would next steps be to get these in front of your executive staff? Okay. You know, so I got to start asking all the, the qualifying, the fact finding questions that you'll find right here. And then, so I'm going to go in. So, and, and I covered this uh, a little bit at the beginning of today's call. We, we talked about the sales process. You know, at that point, I'm still kind of in a cold situation. The guy didn't know who I was, but maybe, maybe the guy knows where, who I am. And maybe he's at this show because he's looking at pillows right? Is that guy in a different position than the guy who's not really there looking at pillows? He's there looking at something totally different. Absolutely. Excellent. So I need to be in a different part of the program for that. So when you're looking at right here inside sales process, this is where you guys have got to identify. You got to know, you got to be aware. Where is the, where is this guy in the process? Because if I'm trying to take him back, if, if I'm trying to take him all the way back here, but he's, he's, you know, if I'm asking him the fact finding questions from the cold call, and he's way up here because he's already seen my product. Maybe talk to another. Maybe talk to another guy in my office. I don't know. That's where I need to find out as a salesperson. Like, where's this guy at? So you're gonna find more content right here inside fact finding. So assuming the guy shows up at your trade show because he needs pillows for his company. He works. He uh, he's the head purchaser uh, at the Marriott hotels. Okay, this year he needs to buy five thousand pillows. That guy's a little bit further along in the process, man. The guy's probably checked a few things out, you know? So that's where you're gonna find inside fact finding the sales process. Just know where you're at, know these two things. There's only two reasons they wouldn't buy. Either one, they're not the decision maker, or two, they don't think they're gonna use it. Okay. So the other answer, let's just say he is the decision maker. What do you, what do, you do there? I mean, 
And it, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta figure out what happened, man. I gotta figure out where I'm at still, you know? I gotta know where I'm at in the cycle. And so that's where, if he is the guy, if we've already presented to him, not, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm following the guy up. Maybe my sales cycles are 90 days, or maybe they're three days, or maybe they're 30 minutes. I gotta figure out where I'm at inside the follow-up. That's why the follow-up tool is so important. So that way I can continue to stay in front of people because there might be other decision makers on a board or there could be a spouse involved or there could be you know a third party, there could be somebody else. So that's where you guys gotta know the cycle. And that's where you're gonna learn what to do inside Cardone University. So Omar, dude, I really appreciate you calling up. Appreciate the, uh, you know, the info you gave me today. And, and, and let me know how that works, man. Next time you get to a, a trade show, look, I want you to figure out where am I at with this guy. All right, I appreciate that. Steve. All right, brother, Thanks take care, time. man. Have, have, a, have an incredible day. Hey, we got uh, Cameron, he's calling up. He's calling from Ohio. Cameron, what's happening? Hey, Steve, how are you doing? Dude, I'm how doing really, you, I'm doing really good today, man. What, what can I help you out with? Yeah, I just got a quick question for you. Uh, I'm currently on Cardone U, and uh, I'm in telecommunications industry right now at T-Mobile, and I'm going to be leaving my position here to go get my dream job that I've always deserved over in Spain in uh, about a week or two from now. Okay, what what what, what job is it? It's uh, essentially your international media consultant. You meet with top CEOs in different countries and uh, like prime ministers and heads of state, and you negotiate to get uh, different types of special advertising to get direct investment into the country. Oh, nice! That's awesome, dude. Well, how can I help you out with that? So I've been pursuing the job for two years now. I finally got on card on you. I've been uh, training with David Riley all these different people at the company you guys can help me out uh now my question is should i do anything different once i get over there due to it being like a different culture and everything like that compared to what i would do with a company here in the u.s to get a position with them yeah i mean that's a that's a that's a really great question man because for for most sales people they're career sales people but maybe they work at different companies different jobs maybe they sell different things cameron's saying hey look man i'm on cardone university Okay. This is what this is the guy I've decided to study and go really deep on content with. Uh, but what happens if I transition? How's that going to affect? Like, where should I start with my training for my deal? Well, let me tell you. Look, all the training inside Cardone University is pure sales training. I mean, this is everything you need to know about sales. So it applies to everything. That's why you see us working with, you know, Morgan Stanley. That's why you see us working with the automotive industry, with Kawasaki, with Harley Davidson. That's why you see us working with Ashley Furniture, with Sprint, all these different companies. I mean, we work with guys at Morgan Stanley who make a million bucks a year. Okay. Just, tra just training a guy, just training a guy the other day makes a million bucks a year. Okay. He's asking me about different things. He's on Cardone University. Okay. We also work with people in the automotive industry, in the roofing industry, like all these other people, you know? So it is pure sales training. It's what you're gonna be able to use there. So what I want you to do is I want you to stay open-minded to, hey, what's Grant talking about inside this part of the program? Because it doesn't change. This part doesn't change. The pure sales training part is always gonna stay the same for you. So when you transition over to this new position, you know, you're probably gonna have much bigger margins. There'll be much bigger deals. You're gonna have more decision makers. There's gonna be a lot more going on. Dude, that's where this program is gonna already help you because now you're prepared. Now you're gonna have a better, better opportunity as you go over there because you've got a better understanding of sales. And when you get there, I mean, you're gonna match up. You're gonna be like, dude, it's so weird. The same objections I get over here with these guys on this deal, same thing I was getting back at T-Mobile. Okay. I train yeah, different. I train different companies all day long. I'll tell you, they all have the same problems. Yeah. You know, the same okay. problems. So yeah. good deal, yeah. man. Well, hey, good, good luck with that. Let us know how it's going, man. So that way we can help you out. All right. Yeah, I guess my question was that as well as I'm going in front of the CEO because I don't even have the interview yet. So I've been following the cold call, everything like that. I've been plastering them up on social media, on LinkedIn, emails, videos, and everything to get my foot through the door and get deal with the gatekeeper. Now, once I get in there, what do you deal with the CEO? You said just follow the card on you and do the same thing as I would with someone over here when, when I sell myself to the CEO. Great question. So, yeah, so, the, so you're telling me that you don't have the job yet. You're just still trying to get the job. That's correct. I'm going to claim my job that I deserve. What you're, dude, my man, dude. I love this guy. Dude, this guy, Cameron. Dude, Cameron's really trying to make America great again, dude. He's like, look, man, I, dude, I'm sick. I'm going to go for what I want. I'm going to go for what I deserve. Okay. These are the type of yeah. people who these are the type of people who make it, man, who make the commitment. Dude, that's what you guys are gonna hear Grant talk about in the Grant Cardone seminar collection. Okay, so yeah. uh, what you want to look at is you want to go inside uh, the master in the cold call. Go to getting past the gatekeeper. Okay. 
Cameron's product that he's selling right now because he's trying to get a job is himself. It's the same thing. My job is to get a job. Your job, job is to get a job, man. That's what you're trying to do. So look, you need to become friends with the gatekeeper. I don't. When I now, when you follow up, you want it to be value added follow up. You don't want it to be annoying. You don't want to be the nagging guy. Like, dude, I got people, I got people all the time over here just trying to get a job here. I'm like, dude, you're just, you're, you're just not doing it right, dude. Get on our program right. and, and then call me back. You know, so what's happening is that, look, you want to bring the value. So what's every company looking for, man? They're looking for producers. They're looking for people who can help them out, who can solve problems. So do the research on the company, just like you would do with the prospect. Research it, man. Figure out what can I do. Now you're trying to get past the gatekeeper right here. Hey, look, I know you probably deal with every, every person who's been hired here. I'm sure you probably talked to them first. So let me ask you this. When you have somebody who knows they should work here, they got a great resume, okay, they got a great opportunity, uh, how do you guys typically hire people? Ask her those questions, man. You're going to find this all in here. You guys see over here? You guys see how every single one of these has a red heart next to it? Because they're all sitting in my favorites. I watch them all the time, man. I, I got to get past a lot of gatekeepers to be able to get to the real decision makers, right? So this is where you want to really dig in and figure this out. And then you want to drop a big claim, man. You want to know, study their business, study how you can help out. In that way, when you call up and you know a lot about what they're doing, just like what you should do as a salesperson, you're going to have more success. You're going to catch them. There's going to be a hook. They're going to be like, oh my God, maybe this guy knows what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah. And then start using the follow-up tool, man. Start using the follow-up tool. When you get out of the interview and you walk out, boom, dude, bust out your virtual video, text them, ask the guy from the interview process, hey, when I get out of this interview, where can I text you some information? I got something I want to send you. Okay. Get the cell phone number. When you walk out, hey, thank you for the opportunity, man. It was really, really great meeting you today. Wanted to shoot this over and uh, looking forward to working with you and making some big things happen for your company. You know? Definitely. Okay. And then, Thank you. Yeah, got to throw all your ships in. You can't always replenish your ships in life. I mean, you got to throw exactly. all your energy into it and do whatever it takes. Exactly. And that's, guys, this is all inside Cardone University. If you're not on Cardone University right now, man, look, dude, do this right here, the Grant Cardone Seminar Collection. It's a deal of the day at grantcardone.com, Grant Cardone Seminar Collection. Hey, Cameron, thanks a lot for calling up. I'm going to take one more call. I got Leo. He's calling in from Cali. Leo, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? I'm doing good. I'm actually doing great. I was going to say good, but I'm actually doing really great. Uh, last night, actually, I got to uh, read the 10x rule. Oh, love and, that. And yeah, so I, I can't really find another word to say, but like it literally did like light fire under my ass. It like pumped me up. I got me ready to go. And a 10x, uh, a 10X fire is hot, man. Have you got your ticket to the uh, 10x growth conference? Uh, you guys are not sold out yet? Dude, we're, we're very close. We're like 60% of the way. I mean, dude, if you liked the 200 pages that Grant wrote, in the 10x rule, what do you think you're gonna get from a three-day seminar about how to blow up your business, how to freaking just light it up, man, dude? That thing's gonna be unbelievable for you, guys. Okay, so, I believe so, I'm gonna get like some That's what I, that's what I believe, actually. To be honest with you, uh, I, unfortunately, I found out about Grant a little bit late. Like I, I you know, found out about Grant pretty much like halfway through the uh, the growth con. Okay. Like right now, I'm like really trying. I'm, I'm not trying. I'm gonna do my best to hustle as hard as I can to uh, just get the funding to get to the, uh, to the growth plan ASAP. So uh, it's, this is the March, right? I love it, dude. I love it, man. Are, are you, you going to blow up in 2017? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, dude, yeah, Not I am. That's not even the question. It's a mission. So, uh, so you just found out about Grant Cardone, so you're a little bit late to the deal? Dude, it's, yeah, a, it's, am, okay. it's uh, okay. Dude, it is okay, man, because you called on the right day. We actually, our deal of the day is the Grant Cardone Seminar Collection. So maybe you've missed all of his seminars. Dude, it's the deal of the day. There's 30 plus hours of content inside the Grant Cardone Seminar Collection, man. So, dude, I, you know, I don't know. The, the stars are aligning, Leo. It's the right day for you to call, <laughs> brother. Hey, uh, no, I'm telling dude, you guys, yeah. check it out. Dude, guys, this is, this is, this is 249 bucks. All grand seminars, 30 plus hours. Okay, so hey, what question can I help you out with, man? One, one thing that I can help you out with in your business. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do cold visiting. And obviously that's, uh, that's hard, that's incredibly uh, uncomfortable oh, yeah. and all. But I'm gonna, be, um, you know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of following up and I'm actually thinking, uh, what's the best method, like in my position right now because of my, I gotta generate leads. So like for me, what's the best method to follow up people? Yeah best to do it by, by voicemail or by email? 
uh, which one will be more like impactful or effective? This is my favorite question of the entire day. My man Leo, dude, guys hitting home runs all day. Look, great question. He's asking, is it voicemail or is it email? It's both. Okay, it is definitely both, and here's why. Here's why, because they're different lines of communication, they're different ways to follow up. Now, you wanna have a strategy. Most salespeople, when they follow up, let me explain to you what it looks like. Hey Rob, this is Steve over at Grant Cardone's office, man, you ready to buy? Next call. Hey Rob, this is Steve over at Grant Cardone's office, man, hey, just checking in, okay? How, how many times do I wanna make that call as a salesperson? Okay, maybe two times and I'm done, okay? Because I don't even feel good about it, I quit, I quit on the deal. Right, but if 80% of all transactions are actually happening between the fifth and the 12th follow-up, and I'm giving up on the second one, how am I gonna? How am I gonna blow up, man? How am I gonna? How am I gonna reach 10x levels? So Grant put together a strategy where you can use virtual video like what we talked about today. He put a strategy together so how you can use the text message, the email, the voicemail, how you can actually utilize voicemails, not just leaving a message. You can't sell on a voicemail. So you, you, all you guys out there who are leaving. And, and, and all you salespeople out there who are leaving on the voicemail, this like big, long, like sales pitch, dude, you need Cardone University or, you know, look, Grant talks about it and so for five hours, he talks about how to use follow up inside the, the seminar collection. Okay. It's the greatest sales secret of all time. That's one of the programs in the 30 hours that he talks about in there. So what you want to do is you want to do both of them. Use the follow up tool. You want to use the, the actual uh, strategies like with follow-up, like on the voicemail. I always leave a voicemail. Hey, this is Steve over at Grant Cardone's office. Okay, I'm going to direct him to a call of action. He knows why I'm calling, dude. I'm calling to freaking sell him something. He knows because I've been calling for, for five days straight, right? So, But I need to use it. Hey, I just dropped something inside your inbox. It talks about what we were discussing the other day, and I think it's going to help you out. Take a look at it. Give me a call back right when you get it. Hey, Leo, this is Steve. Grant Cardone's office just left you a message or, or just sent you over an email. It has something that I forgot on our call the other day. I can't wait to show it to you. Take a look. Call me when you get it, right? Like I'm going to direct them towards something. Those are two of the strategies, man. I got there's a 365 day strategy in here. That's like a simple version of it. So when you guys are like doing your text messages, when you're doing your emails, okay, make sure that they're short. So there's a whole program in here. So Rob, if you want to take a look at this. So for emails, there's a whole thing on emails just in follow up. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to what I started this whole program off with. I'm gonna, or this whole segment. And it's actually utilizing the search bar up here at the top. This is where, hey, I got a question. I know it's in the Cardone University because the Cardone University has everything, but where is it? And so when I click email, I go through advanced strategies for follow-up. Okay, it's talking about specific strategies. It's talking about cold call. Send me some information on the email. It's talking about the contact follow-up. Like, what do I do on the emails? How to use the follow-up tools and emails. Guys, there's a lot of content here just for the emails. Ways to follow-up. These are all separate videos, separate segments. They're talking about different topics. When you should use the email. A cold email is different than a follow-up email. A follow-up email on day one is different than a follow-up email on day 30. So the way that you want to use them is you want to be able to utilize the follow-up tool inside the program or all the strategies inside the greatest sales secret of all time, which you'll find inside today's deal of the day, Grant Cardone Seminar Collection. So guys, hey, thanks a lot, Leo. Appreciate you calling in. Guys, every single Wednesday, we're going to come to you live right here from Miami. We're coming live to be able to help you out in your business, help you use Cardone University and any type of deals that we have going. You know, look, if, if you guys are really looking to blow up this year, I know most of you on this, if you're on this stream right now, you wrote your goals down. A at least you wrote them down at the beginning of the year or you were thinking about them. And you're thinking, look, man, I want to blow it up this year. Those are the only type of people who are watching this right now. People who seriously want to make a difference in their life, for their business, for their families, and what they're doing every single day. You want more. Just admit it, man. You want more. But the way you got to do it, you got to change it up, man. You guys got to dive in. So what we're doing, we're putting together programs that's going to be able to help you out. Okay, so number one, I want you guys to know about the 10X Growth Conference. It's a three-day, unbelievable seminar with an all-star lineup. Okay, we got people like Kevin Harrington, Les Brown, Grant Cardone, okay, Atlanta Lions. We've got uh, Jared Glant. Uh, who else do we have coming to this? Uh, Bobby Castro. Bob Castro. We got Bobby Castro. We got Tom Jack Cummins, uh, Jack Jack and Telling. Guys, look, there's all star lineup. Be able to help you guys out, be able to help you in your business to grow. We've got the seminar package right here. This is 30 plus hours of content. So if you're not on Cardone University, you know, get on something, get, get some material. And uh, we're going to keep coming to you every single Wednesday to be able to help you out. So when you have questions, guys, call in, call in next week. We're going to be here for you. Thanks a lot. You guys have an unbelievable week and we'll see you back here next Wednesday.